Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Those who love classic crawlers will go a long way to show off what they have. Howard Yoder, you came all the way with your tractor from London. Yep. Ohio, that yeah. is, right? Yeah. Tell yeah. us what you brought to the show. I brought a 1951 uh, John Deere MC crawler with a toolbar and a transplanter behind it. I also brought a B.O. Lindemann with a ditcher behind it with a toolbar on it also. You mentioned Lindemann. Of course, everybody knows about John Deere and the Lindemann crawlers that were built out in Washington State. But this tractor right here is after the Lindemann thing happened, right? Yes, this is uh, right after the B.O. Lindemann that uh, Jesse built and John Deere bought them out and then started building the MC. So this crawler dates back to 1951. Where did it spend its working life? What do you know about its history? Well, there was a psychiatrist up in the state of uh, Michigan. Us Ohio folks don't like Michigan too well, but <laughs> we will travel there for good things. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, he uh, used it to grade his driveway and he only had a blade on it. And uh, the toolbar will come off with four pins and you can turn, turn the dozer around and put it on the front and put the blade back on it. And uh, that's all he used it for was the grade his driveway. Tell us about the transplanter on the back. I uh, got it out of California. The guy wouldn't separate for it from a non-working dozer. And uh, so I had to buy the whole outfit and have it shipped from California out to Ohio. We'd been looking for one for a long time. And that's the first one we found. So that's, we, we went ahead and bought it. And it's a two row transplanter. What's, what was it used for? Well, uh, that, I did have a two-row. I had it built into a two-row, but it's actually a one-row right now because I had enough parts to make a real good one, so I decided just to do the one real good one, and I did reduce it to a one-row. And what was John Deere's uh, selling point when it came to their transplanters on the back of a crawler like this? Well, uh, they build them for tractors too, but... Uh, I'm not real sure why they uh, decided a crawler would be a good thing for it, but they, they did build them for the crawlers too. And uh, they demonstrated it with uh, by using cigarettes at, at a, uh, to show how gentle it was on the plants. It wouldn't tear the cigarettes up, so they uh, decided to uh, show that so that people would buy it for their vegetable plants. So tell me a little bit about why a guy from Ohio wants to have crawler tractors. What's the attraction for you for crawlers? Well, it kind of started, uh, my dad had a sawmill and, and uh, we bought an old 430 crawler with, uh, uh, to go out and get logs with and stuff. And it was real handy because you could, it was light enough you could haul it behind the tr straight truck with a trailer and go out and get a load of logs. If you only had one load, you could put the bring it all back in one load and it was real handy that way and and uh, so I got interested in crawlers by that there and and so I don't know I guess you get it in your blood and it's hard to get rid of. <laughs> now this one strictly speaking isn't really part of the Lindemann lineup of John Deere's but is that pretty fascinating for you the way Lindemann did those things making John Deere BOs and other tractors into crawlers you got a bunch of them uh, that your tractors are sitting next to here at this big show. Yeah, uh, you know, people like Jesse Lindemann really impressed me. I mean, when they have the knowledge and uh, be able to think these things through and put them in the process of, of making them work and everything, it just, uh, there's some people out there with their minds, the way they work, that it just fascinates me that they can come up. I can come up with ideas, but I can't put it into action. <laughs> so. So tell us just a little bit more about this 1951 model John Deere. What kind of power under the hood there? Uh, 22 horsepower is under the hood, and uh, but with the tracks, it'll actually pull. It'll pull a two-bottom plow easily, and uh, it, they they do have quite a bit of power to them. And this one, though, you think they did a pretty good job of engineering it, making it pretty handy for the farmer or the guy working in uh, construction back in the day. Oh yeah, for the, for the for its time, it was really good and. Uh, Quick attachment, I can pull two pins on there and, and be out of that uh, transplanter and go over and pick up a plow and put the two pins back in. And it's just, it was really ahead of its time, but uh, they just didn't build it heavy enough to really be successful. 
Now, some guys, when they collect a classic tractor, they make it shiny, they make it look maybe even better than new, but you've decided not to do that. Tell us a little bit about your thoughts in terms of uh, restoring or not restoring. I think both of them are great, uh, but I think if you got one that's unrestored that, uh, you know, it was original, uh, this guy took good care of this tractor. I mean, he didn't abuse it. So, you know, uh, I think, you know, when you got something that you, you're not going to be able to remake this here, you, you can make them new, but you can't remake uh, one that's in good shape, I, I don't think. Yeah, you're right. They're only original one time, aren't they? Yes, yes. But, but I don't have a bit of problem with one shined up either. I, I like them both. Yeah. All of them have their, uh, their pluses and minuses. So tell us your favorite thing about this crawler right here. Uh, it's uh, just fun to play with and everything else. It's light. You can move it easily. Uh, don't take a real heavy trailer or anything. So, you know, they're easy to move around. Some of these guys that brought these big ones in, I, my hat's off to them because that's a lot of work. <laughs> it is a lot of work. But you think it's important to preserve uh, these classic crawlers, preserve the history? Oh, I think so. I think uh, people should know how they worked back in the day. and. You know, uh, a lot of them people worked hard back then, and uh, to get something that would just make it a little bit easier, uh, even though it wouldn't be easy compared to today, uh, they they was able to use these and, and make progress with them. So, Howard, I got to ask you, do you have classic tractor fever then? I've got classic crawler fever, and uh, I really enjoy it. All right. Thanks, Howard. Appreciate visiting with you. Thank you. Howard Yoder from London, Ohio with his 1951 John Deere crawler. He's definitely got the fever for these tractors.